Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie with Stage Rate right Secrets, and I am here today with Temecula Rose. How are you? What's How y'all doing? Oh gosh, so good. It is good to be back, CMA Fest. I know. I, I literally haven't seen you guys in two years. I like stalk you guys on social media, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like on TikTok. I'm like, oh, there they are. Well, we stalk you too. Oh, no. we do. Yeah. We're just stalking each other at this point. What we do here. It's 2022. Okay, so obviously COVID was a big effect on everybody um, the last two years. Have you guys been really focusing on songwriting, and what are we looking for going? forward yeah absolutely we've been writing songs for the last two years uh, just buckling down in the studio and getting some things and we actually have three songs recorded they're coming out as singles yeah first yeah. one in July Ooh. Heartbreaking boots heartbreaking boots and I actually saw that on TikTok the first time do you guys just like kind of like put uh, videos of you guys singing on TikTok. I actually saw Emma yeah. sing it the first time. Yeah. Um, do you guys just kind of test stuff up, out on there instead of live shows now since obviously we had lost that for so long? So honestly, that video was just a total on the whim sort of thing. I just took the video because I was playing the song that night and I posted it, kind of not really expecting anything to happen and, you know, it did what it did. And so um, after playing it live and, you know, seeing what that video did, we decided to put it out. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. We do, we do both. We test mm -hmm. them on social media. We play at shows. We love just playing our new music. Music. Like we love what we're writing right now, so we're really proud of it. And so we're like, let's just see what works. Let's yeah. see what we like too. You know, it kind of gives you a vibe of like, oh, I think that's you know that actually really translated well. So yeah. you just threw it up and it did well, and it, it was always one that we loved. You know, we've yeah. probably written over a hundred songs in the last two years, and you know, you don't always write great ones, but every now and then you'll get one where you're like, okay, that's special. And so that was one of those ones that was really special. And, and did you guys co-write it with anybody else, or how did the how did the actual writing of it come about? Yeah, yeah. we did. We actually went on a writing camp last September with Parker Welling and Casey Brown awesome. and mm -hmm. we wrote um, four songs then that Heartbreaking Boots is actually the first one we wrote. Yep. So, Emma's title we wrote it about her love life. It is about my all love the cowboys life. breaking her heart. So much about me. Yeah <laughs> she came in she was like uh, I got this title called Heartbreak In Boots like the you know I'm gonna put on my heartbreaker boots essentially yeah. and go out and you know break some hearts and we all heard it as heartbreak in boots, like, oh, the guy. And Which she, was a happy mistake. I was like, shit, that's way better, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're like, you know what? I said that. Yeah, so, yeah, and, you know, that's the great part about songwriting. You're like, oh, you're like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, let's roll with that. And I mean, that song fell out. We wrote that song in like an hour. Yeah. Wow. And I feel like those are the best ones, is you're just like, kind of like, oh, well, yeah, I just did that. It was yeah. meant to happen that day, for real. There was like an energy and a magic in the air, and we're yeah. sitting on Tim's Ford Lake. It was amazing. Yeah. So. Oh, beautiful. And uh, you guys just toured some with Gary LaVox from Rascal Flatts. How was that experience? That was one of the best experiences of our lives. So Rascal Flatts has been the, one of the biggest influences of us growing up. I mean, their music is incredible and their harmonies, like we've studied them so much. And so to have Gary have us out on the road for a couple of dates was incredible. And he actually invited us on his bus. So we were... Yeah, I was going to say, we saw the video. I was, I was scrolling through TikTok once again. I'm always on TikTok and I, I hear Mayberry and I was like, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Gary LaVox is in the video yeah. with you guys. It was crazy. So after the first show, he came up to us because we watched him side stage. And he was like, so, y'all going to come on the bus? And we were like, um, yeah, we're going to come on the bus. So we hung out there for a couple hours. And towards the end of the night, he was like, did y'all drive? Did y'all bus? And Dawson, he goes, nope, just in my piece of shit car. <laughs> and he goes, well, hop on the bus. I'll drop you back off here on Sunday. Yeah. And so. Like the nicest guy in the <laughs> yeah. world. Oh, the most down to earth, nicest. Oh, yes. It, it blew our minds. I was like. That is what we want to be like, yeah. you know, when we get to that level, you know, and that's that's he's just incredible and super friendly and, and also just an incredible artist. Like, yeah. he is amazing. Yeah. He's, had such a fun time. Oh, the best. And favorite Rascal Flat song? Oh, probably Fast Cars and Freedom. These days. Oh, there you go. Um, that one's always good. The happiest, <laughs> but also the most sad song ever. You like want to scream it and like, but you're crying at the same time. You're like, it just needs a nice rain moment, and that's it. It's totally a rain song. It, it is. Uh -huh. The music video is literally like. Oh, is it? He's like in an airport. That's right. He's like yeah. raining, it's and raining. he just posted the other day about yep. it, and it was like raining that's, in Nashville. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was Crazy. like genius. You're yeah. a genius. You keep up. You're I good. Oh my I do. God. Katie, up. Katie's got it, y'all. <laughs> Katie. I tried to, I tried to. Okay, so CMA Fest is about music education, really giving back to the fans. Oh, like, have you guys had teachers growing up that, like, a specific moment maybe in school that you were like, you had a music teacher maybe that you want to shout out to and give back to? Yeah, so absolutely. we actually met through a vocal coach, which is really cool. So. Gwen Sanborn, shout out. We absolutely love you. Uh, I mean, she, she, I, I started taking lessons and she, on my second lesson, was like, I think there's two girls that you'd love to sing with. And I was like, hell yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now and it's only one, but yeah, now it's only, and, there were two at the time. And, um, you know, we, we just started singing together around town and 
fell in love with music and, and kind of just started doing it. And then it, we had no idea that we were going to be signed, and we didn't have that intention in the beginning. We just did it because we loved it. And then, you know, you know how it goes. One thing leads to the next, and just unexpected twists and turns in life, and here we are. I was going to say, speaking of Maddie, like, obviously she's not part of the trio anymore now. It's a duo. Um, how has that transition been for you guys this year? It's been, go ahead, go ahead. Honestly, it's been really, really good. Yeah. I mean, obviously it was very heartbreaking and unexpected, but at the same time, we're better off as sisters, we're better off as friends, yeah. and he and I, we just really, really are so locked in, yeah. and so it's been honestly effortless yeah. since the since the. Well, and you guys look good as a duo. Like, <laughs> like you. sometimes the people, like like a band member will fall out or whatever and um, switch out, and then you're just like, okay, I can see it, but like you guys like look good and sound good as a duo, not just saying because like I love y'all, but just in general. We appreciate that. I mean, there's, there's absolutely zero bad blood, and, and you couldn't have asked for like a cleaner break. It's just one of those things she said her heart yeah. wasn't in it, and like we're family first, so that's why, like I said, we came together because we loved it, and you know she came to us and was like, I'm just not enjoying this like I, I used to, and like I am. You know, I wish it's just not for me anymore. And you know, again, heartbreaking, but. It was a good transition, and she's way better off now, too. She's really happy. She's a heartbreaking boots. She's a heartbreaking <laughs> boots. Not to circle it back, yeah, but... no, for sure. Well, we're so excited. We cannot wait to hear the other two songs that are going to become... Or, I mean, we've heard Heartbreaking Boots, but we can't wait to actually have it on our Spotify's and everything. Oh, yeah. um, thank you guys for hanging out with me every year. CMA Fest, and good, good luck at CMA Fest this year. Thank you. You, you too. You, you too. Yeah, be, be safe out there. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya.